from the sidelines. Allie, it's all yours. Well, the Warriors had an unusual opportunity to retain a championship core while adding star caliber youngsters. To maximize their success, the team has invested heavily in player development. That requires some changes in the coaching staff, but Brian, the new energy and the ideas have been a positive. All right, Allie, thanks. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Andrew Wiggins. And when you look at his offensive output over the past few years, it seems like other teams have figured him out and have his number now. He's having to put in a lot more effort on the offensive end, but without producing nearly the same results. A look at the 76ers starting group. Harris and Embiid are playing up front. Tyrese Maxey is out there with James Harden. And it's Thibel in at the three. And for Golden State, the core of the dynasty all on the floor. Curry and Clay, the guards, with Draymond up front at the four. Andrew Wiggins is out there with Wiseman. Well, whenever you bring up the 76ers, you instantly think of Joel Embiid. Oh, no question. He's the face of this franchise. Embiid is as good as anyone in the league. Off the floor, Joel is willing to take to blame when things don't go right. That's who you want as a leader. Curry against Harden. Up top, Maxi. Pass to Embiid. Outside Thibel. Five to shoot. Maxi finds Harris. Takes one from 10 feet. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to go on Draymond Green. He's a good free throw shooter. Tobias Harris smartly looking to get in there and find some easy points from the line. And we're at the point of the season where we really start seeing teams dial in for the playoff push, Grant. Oh, such an exciting time, B.A. And for some teams, the playoffs start now. We've got bubble teams in both conferences battling for positioning, and every game has playoff implications. The free throw drops for Harris. And Grant, so much young talent for the Warriors. Many said they should trade for veterans, but they resisted. And they won a title anyways. I mean, with the salary cap perhaps their greatest obstacle, having contributors on cost-controlled rookie contracts sure helps. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Well, when he gets into a groove at the free throw line, it doesn't just last for tonight. This might be two weeks, two months, something like that. Curry, no good. On the wing, Harden to the paint. Here's Harris, and the layup is good Tobias, off the glass. Tobias there taking the contact, still leaning with it, scores it. Thompson against Maxi. And about a minute gone in the first quarter. Outside Curry, the three is up. Yes, and a nice assist from Thompson. Oh, to have a soft touch is one thing, but to do it from 25 feet, come on, Steph. Pass to Harris, outside Maxi. Embiid inside. He's against Wiseman. Embiid, a screen on Thompson. And here's Harris. Over Green. And it's Wiseman with the rebound. Golden State has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Pass to Thompson. Curry with it. Guarded now by Maxi. Back to Thompson. And the three off target. Now Philadelphia with it. Harris down low. 
He's covered by Curry. And there's the basket, and the whistle blows. Chance at a three-point play here. Going to the line for one. You know, in the past several seasons, there's been one constant with the 76ers. They're going to be among the best defensive teams in the league. Sixers' identity really does center around their defense. It's so true, VA, and they've done a great job playing to their strengths. That's the key for any contending team. Maximize your players' talents. Philly has done that as well as anybody. Now here's Thompson. Offensively, he's been a force. He's putting up around 19 points a game. Count it good. You've got to stay in front of Clay if you're going under the screen and he recognizes the going to get scored on. Pass to Harris. Over Green. And Harris gets it to go on the assist by Harden. Harris has got his third bucket of the night. The Warriors have gone just two for four from the floor. First quarter of basketball. Just over two and a half minutes played so far. Thompson outside. No good on the three. The 76ers have gone three of four. Off to a nice start. Pass to Harris. Uses the glass on the layup. Harris has got 11 points. Man, right off the bat, super sharp here offensively. Four of five so far. Curry passes to Thompson. Wiseman with it. Picked up by Embiid. Now here's Green. And the call will be against James Harden. That's his first foul of the game. Just under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the first quarter. And looks like an illegal pick was set against the ref's attention. As we near the postseason, let's see where the West is shaken out. You look at the Warriors, they're in the pole position right now for the top seed in the conference. Well, I think for Golden State, they've been terrific throughout the regular season, showing they may be just the team to beat in the postseason. Now here's Harden. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Oh, it's blocked by Green. Wow, gritty defense from Draymond showing how tough it is and great timing on rejection. Green with a screen on Harden. Harden against Curry. Out of bounds. It'll be Philadelphia's ball. Let's take a look at the best rebounders around the league. Joel Embiid on top. And the way he's rebounded the ball this season has been special. His teammates really appreciate his hard work and physicality on the glass. Outside Harden. Pass to Harris. Embiid a screen on Green. Here's Harris. Oh, it's blocked by Green. And he gets it back. Just five to shoot. Harden drawing the double team. For three, Maxi Doesn't go. And he's 0 for 1 from the floor. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's a shot he typically makes. Wiggins passes to Green. Curry with it. Fires the three. They get it again. Wiseman, nice work on the board, paying off for the basket. Wiseman just has that great rebounding range to be in there and make something happen for a second chance bucket. Embiid, a screen on Curry. Harden shot is good. Pounding it inside early and often, setting a physical tone. The Warriors trailing. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Knocks it down from distance. Steph Curry is a brilliant offensive basketball player. The D backs up, and he just shoots that one off the dribble. Now here's Harris. 17 points in his last outing. Pass to Embiid. 
screen by Embiid. Harden with it. Guarded out by Wiseman. Count it. Man, they're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. Golden State is gone just two for six from the arc here in the first. Shot is up. Curry shot is off. Well, mid-range is where he makes the money. So when the D's slow to get out on him, always surprising to see him miss from there. Pass to Embiid. Perfect night so far, two for two. They have no answer defensively inside. The Warriors have gone four of nine in this one so far. Curry finds Wiggins. Here's Wiseman. Here's Wiggins. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. And he banks in the layup. Wiggins at his size has the ability to post like that and take it to the rack. And I think Andrew Wiggins is a great example of how positions have changed. Came into the league playing a lot of the two. Now we see him at times playing a bunch at the four. Offensive rebound. Embiid passes to Maxi. Screen by Embiid. Tries again. And he drops that one in. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. Timeout called. The Warriors. checked in for Wiseman. Kaminga comes in for Draymond Green. Poole, he's checked in for Thompson. And it's Smith in for Curry. Pirtles checked in for Philadelphia. Tucker comes in for Tobias Harris. have gotten 50% of their shots to fall so far. They're 5 of 10. Wiggins outside. The three is up. Hurdle grabs a miss. The Sixers leading. Outside Maxi. Pass to Harden. And here's Pirtle. Yes! And a nice assist from Harden. Harden's got four assists in the game. <laughs> An outstanding first quarter from the field. Poole against Maxi. And he's going for the lob! It's dipped. Smith outside. Fires for three. Missed it. Now 0 for 1 on this game. Philadelphia has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Pass to Pirtle. To the left side wing. Maxi passes to Harden. Hurdle with a screen on Smith. The offensive rebound. Outside Harden. Blocked! Smith Jr. using athleticism on the defensive end with the block. So far this quarter, he's been out of sync. It might be pressing right now. Pass to Wiggins. Oh, he missed the layup. He had him with the pump fake. 
The 76ers shooting an excellent 56% in this quarter. Outside Tybal. There's the screen. Now Pirtle, just four to shoot. Tucker finds Thibel, up and over Smith. It's wide right, hits off the rim. And the Warriors shooting just 36% here in the first quarter. Pass to Kaminga. Wiggins with a screen on Hart. And here's Kaminga for three. It's not going to go for him. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. Their last encounter was in Philadelphia. They kept the game close, but made a lot of mistakes. And we heard about it from the coaching staff after. And, and they made some comments themselves that some of the fault might have lied with them because they didn't go in with the best of game plans and they didn't make the right adjustments. So we'll see tonight if they do. Here's Wiggins. Lays it up and in off the pretty this Great timing and coordination. Lays it in coming off that pick. Yeah, you know, after a couple down years with key players injury, it's safe to say the Cold State Warriors are back. Bible against Wiggins. Bible passes to Harden. The shot's good. Harden's got his second basket of the night. The Warriors are back to contending for championships. Yes, they are. A testament to their perseverance and belief in themselves. They knew once they got healthy, they would be a threat. And they've been a fun team to watch as they get back to form. And so it's Golden State with it. After the Sixers picked up the basket a moment ago. Sinks it from distance. The junior got a little bit of daylight and then let it rip. Poole against Maxi. And Harden gets it to go on the assist from Maxi. Harden's got his third basket on the night right there. Pass to Green. Back to Poole. Tucker against Kaminga. Back to Poole. From deep. It's hauled in by the Sixers. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Outside Tybal. 107 left in the opening quarter. And it's good for two. And now it's a 10-point Philadelphia lead. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. Yeah, nice finish from him on that drive. Uses his body well and helps extend the lead. Now here's Smith. And right now he's currently putting up six and a half points per game. Green with a screen on Tybal. Wiggins with it. He's picked up by Pirtle. He's so good at getting to the rim. Maybe tries to get a little bit too cute with that one. I thought he laid it straight up and in. Harden against Smith. Pass to Tybal. Maxi with it. Here's Pirtle. That went off the back iron and out. The Warriors shooting only 37% early. There's 18 seconds left in the first. Now Wiggins, a dependable player on offense, giving them over 13 a game. There's the triple. Philadelphia grabs the miss. Pirtle's got his fifth rebound in this one. No luck on that one. And so it's Philadelphia earning this break in the action. Up 10. They're communicating well and stringing together stops. We'll be right back after this word. Game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. 
And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for Philadelphia. They've done a great job establishing an inside presence. Now that'll open up more options offensively throughout the remainder of the game. The attack can come from a lot of ways, either execution or by just getting on the bounce and driving it in. And that's where they've been very effective tonight. And the Warriors shooting just 35% for the floor. The core of the dynasty all on the floor. Curry and Clay, the guards, with Draymond up front at the four. Wiseman is out there with Jonathan Kaminga. So that's the group out there for Golden State. And they're plus five on the boys after that rebound. Pass to Embiid. Milton against Kaminga. Here's Tucker. And a miss there on the triple. Man, just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Now here's Wiseman. Embiid covers. And there's the foul. It's on Joel Embiid. That's his first foul of the game. against Kaminga. Pass to Curry. This one for three. Joel Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got five rebounds in the game. Up top wall. Defended by Thompson. Now Harris. Embiid a screen on Kaminga. Clock at six. Harris misses. Golden State has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Curry passes to Wiseman. Back to Curry from deep three-point range. And again, no good by Golden State. Well, after getting off to a great start, hitting those first two shots, he's definitely regressed a little bit in this quarter. Now here's Tucker. Ten-point lead. This is their biggest of the game to the middle. Here's Embiid. And then Embiid with the dunk. And Tucker, great job reading the floor and finding a way to set up a ready shooter. And here's Curry for three. And he's now three for eight after that one. One of the more skilled offensive players that is on the floor here tonight. Not an easy fella to hold in check. It wasn't an easy road to the NBA for P.J. Tucker. Brent, he spent most of his early career in Europe. Yeah, those first five years, he never gave up on the dream to get back stateside and play in the league. So working hard on his game, understanding his game, and he's been such a great player for this past decade with a ring to show for. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Thanks, Brian. James Harden, with plenty of confidence, said, not to brag or anything, but I'm really good at this game. I'm unselfish. I play the right way. I don't try to do anything I can't do or that doesn't benefit our team. And that mindset keeps me in a good place. Yeah? Very self-assured, Allie. Thank you. And the basket is good. And the right guy to finish the job. Curry. For Philadelphia, they've gone 2 of 4 here in the second quarter. Wall, the pass to Harris. Tucker with a screen on Kaminga. To the inside. Oh, it's blocked by Green. Takes a step back. Here's Curry. The bank shot, no good. That's yeah, pretty much the only way to keep him from taking advantage of you down low. you got to play tough, physical defense. Pass to Wall, and here's Embiid. He's covered by Curry. Outside Tucker. Let's the three fly on target from range. Tucker's gotten himself on the board with a three there. Making the most of his three-point chances. That's Tucker just spotted up, ready to go. Curry passes to Green. On the wing, Curry, covered by Milton. Now here's Kaminga. Milton with a steal. Over Green. Here's Tucker. Good work defensively by Wiseman. Aggressive mindset, but the defender just as determined to send him away empty-handed. And there's the foul. It's on Joel Embiid. That'll be a second foul of the game. That's a foul he wanted to avoid, and he definitely doesn't want to pick up his third before the half. And a second look at that rejection, taking no prisoners on defense there. Let's see if that block can amp up this team. I mean, they're looking for anything to get themselves going. 
Kuminga, the pass to Curry. And it's blocked! What a play as he just snatches the shot out of midair. Ball with it. An important role in this offense, averaging around 12 and a half per game. Knocks down the triple. Well, Embiid's accuracy is so impressive, especially for a big. He can really hurt you from the arc. Now here's Curry. Down by 15. Pass to Kaminga. Over Embiid. Up again. Controls the rebound and the putback. Real smooth, guys. Great job with the tip in. Those are the kind of plays on the offensive glass that can tell you a lot about a player. Here's Wall. Here's Milton. And good. Going on the assist by Wall. And the 76ers lead by 15. And the Warriors call time here. a look at some numbers for James Harden and over the last five games his field goal percentage has increased and you can make a case his confidence as well because of this Golden State has gone one of four from three-point land here in the second. After a couple of injury-plagued seasons, where they missed the playoffs. The Warriors have returned to their winning ways. Just how impressive has that been? For Philadelphia, they've gotten over 50% of their shots to go. Five for nine in the second. Pass to Tucker. Outside Milton. Embiid with it. Off the mark with the outside fadeaway. Right, and getting Clay Thompson back has been a major factor for their renewed success. Uh, there's no doubt how vital Clay is to this team, but you got to give credit to their overall depth. I don't think Clay was fully healthy last year at any point, so he's coming in stronger. This roster still feels like strength in numbers is in effect. Wall, the pass to Harris. And good. Coming on the assist by Wall. Wall's got three assists tonight. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Now, here's Green. In his last outing, eight points for him. It's hauled in by the Sixers. Embiid's got nine rebounds now. Man, and it's amazing. Their slim advantage on the board seems a lot larger than it is. Wall finds Tucker. Milton for three. Thompson pulls it in. Would you say testing the limits of his range there? Well, I thought they played smart, and then all of a sudden it was maybe a little too flashy there, and that, uh, that's unfortunate. Nails it from three. The defense has all eyes on Stephen. He exploits that with a dish. Ball, the pass to Harris. Impede inside. He's against Wiseman. Here's Curry, coming off a 22-point game against Dallas. Down low. Here's Thompson. Oh, he gets it to fall, and that makes it just a single-digit deficit. Thompson's got five points in the quarter. 
And Philadelphia calls time here. I'm watching Draymond Green play. Grant, he's the quarterback on both ends. I love that, B.A. Defensively, constantly calling out instructions on how to switch, keeping everyone organized. And offensively, Green is an incredible passer, sees guys get open before they do. in for Green. Wiggins comes in for Kaminga. Poole, he's checked in for Clay Thompson. And it's Smith in for Stephen Curry. And the 76ers will have a different look here. Pirtles checked in for Tucker. Thibel comes in for Harris. Tyrese Maxey's checked in for Wall. And it's James Harden in for Milton. Warriors on D. Eight point game. Thibel on the wing. Embiid against Green. Inside, Pirtle. And the dunk by Pirtle. You can't discount Embiid's value as a passer. That vision and court awareness. These are traits a team loves to have in a big man. Now here's Poole. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. The rebound by Embiid. Embiid's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Bible passes to Embiid. Over Poole. And again, it's Philadelphia. And he was dominant in their last outing. And the same thing here tonight. He is in a terrific group right now. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. Here's Poole. Sixers getting their last shot to go. Screen by Wiseman. Down to five on the shot clock. Poole, shot is off. Philadelphia has gone two of four from the perimeter in the second so far. Maxi passes to Thibel. Back to Maxi. Outside for Harden. Embiid, a screen on Smith. Pass to Embiid. It's rebounded by Golden State. Minnesota will be traveling to face him after this game. It'll be the second game of four straight at home. Smith passes to Poole, takes a three. It's hauled in by the Sixers. Embiid's got rebound number 11. Thibel finds Harden, now Embiid. Pass to Thibel. Back to Embiid. Embiid missing again. Here's Poole. For three. And the three-pointer goes. Poole's got his first three points of the game. They've got some ground to make up. And shooting the three ball more consistently, like they are now, should help them do it. Harden from outside. And the 76ers get it back. Back to Embiid. Second chance effort. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That's on James Wiseman. A fun-loving player on and off the court. Embiid continues to get better. One of the league's top big men.
Free throw drops for Embiid. You know, some have said those old school power forwards, guys like Charles Oakley, they're becoming outdated. You see that, Grant? Well, first of all, the physicality in the game is no more. The way Oakley would hit you and bruise you, you can't do that in today's game. And guys like Oakley are now playing the five position and they're shooting three pointers. So a lot of it just is because the game has changed and evolved since the 90s when Oakley dominated. Great skill level in the game right now. No question. Now here's Wiggins. He picked up 15 in their last win against Dallas. Wiggins against Thibel. Pass to Pirtle. And here's Harden. 157 left in the second quarter. For three, Maxi. And it's Wiseman with the rebound. Wiseman's got six rebounds now in the game. It's Poole on the wing. Maxi covering. Wiseman with it. There's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Still a ton of intrigue around what it is that James Wiseman is going to be in the NBA. It's really about him staying healthy and getting a consistent opportunity to be solid. Taking two shots. Shoot two. And the first one at the line is good. And so he makes both from the line. The Sixers leading. Now here's Harden. 32 points for him. Last game against Chicago. And guys, the other thing that he did well was just facilitate the offense. Pass the ball around beautifully in that one. Seriously put on a passing clinic. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. Smith outside. Pass to Poole. Smith outside. Now Green. Embiid covers. Green, the pass to Wiggins. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Philadelphia has gone two of six from distance here in the second quarter. Now Maxi. Embiid is screen on pool. Here's Maxi. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. That's on James Wiseman. And the improvement of Tyrese Maxi's three-point shot from his first season to second year. Just unprecedented. He improved by over 12% with a huge increase in attempts as well. First free throw is good. Both free throws good from Maxi. Yeah, just knocking down every free throw. I mean, I love to see this kind of efficiency. Poole outside. Pass to Wiseman. Over Pirtle. Shot is good. Off the back rim and in. Wiseman's got eight. Wiseman flushing out his game from the mid-range. Outside backseat. To the wing on the left. Here's Embiid. And so we wrap up the first half. Sixers ahead. Up 11. Right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Joelle, some fireworks early. What's going to be critical to keeping it rolling? Uh, just keep moving the ball. Uh, you know, get stops and uh, 
I think the kids just moving the ball, playing together. We've been doing that, and uh, we got some hot guys, and we got to keep feeling them. Ball movement is key, guys. Appreciate it, Allie. And we'll be coming right back after this break, ready for the third quarter. Hey, everybody. The story of the first half, Joel Embiid asserting his dominance. Feels like he's tracking down every missed shot. Straight up, he's outworking the guy across from him. Fantastic effort. And if you're the other team, you have to get a body on him. Box him out, man. And now let's jump to the Rookie of the Year race and see how it's shaping up. Well, clearly, Jay Nivey is an exceptional athlete. Fast hands with even faster feet. Allows himself to stay all over guys on the defensive end. And that speed shot also helps him beat defenses on the drive. And that's a wrap on halftime. Thanks for watching as we send you back to BA to call the second half. too much drama in the first half but maybe things will tighten up here in the second man it's been quite a game for Stephen Curry through two quarters of play he's been an excellent source of points yeah he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it. the Warriors shooting just under 40 percent from the field and on the floor for Doc Rivers as we get into the second half Bible and Harris at the three and the four James Harden out there with Maxi, and it's Embiid in at the pivot spot, batting the middle. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And 941 days away from being on the floor. That had to be so difficult for Clay Thompson. You think about his contributions last year in the finals run, and I don't think he was ever fully healthy, but it's so great for the Warriors in their trio to have Clay back on the court. That free throw, no good. And during his return from a torn ACL and a torn Achilles, Clay was his own harshest critic. Well, really tough to be away that long, B.A., and the emotions, the thoughts that go through your head about regaining your form, being an elite player once again, and that doesn't just come from you. you got to have a great team around you, and that goes for the physicians, the teammates, the coaching staff, and the front office to get Clay back to where he was in the finals last year. Now here's Maxi. Outside Tybal. To the paint. Wiseman with a steal. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Brian Sixers head coach Doc Rivers earned the nickname Doc back in college for wearing a t-shirt with Jules Irving on it. In the NBA, he said, quote, the first game I started was against the Sixers. I went over and said, um, Dr. J, how are you? And he said, Doc, how are you? I said, no, no, I'm Glenn. But he said, no, you're Doc. And that made me feel like a million bucks. Guys? <laughs> All right, thanks, Allie. Outside Harden. Harris up top. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. He's a capable shooter, but I like the initiative there from Tobias, taking it inside, forcing the defense back, and drawing contact. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes it first. I feel like Tobias Harris's confidence has grown over the past couple seasons, especially on the offensive end. Very capable of taking advantage of smaller defenders. on both a little over a minute gone here in the second half 
three against Harden. And he drains it, making him seven for 15 for the day. There are nights he makes it look easy. Tonight, he's making it look even easier. And he lobs it up top. alley up top, hammer it home. And the lead increases on a crazy offensive sequence. Man, the dunk alone would have been incredible, let alone the fact that it came off a pinpoint pass. Now here's Wiggins. Outside Curry from the arc. Nails it from beyond the arc. Curry's got five points in the quarter. And his perimeter shooting might be the key to trimming their deficit. Well, he's doing everything he can to make them competitive. And by everything, I mean draining threes. Here's Harden. He has six. Harris outside. At the line for the 76ers, Tobias Harris. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. He gets them both. They've got plenty of time to get back into this. Yeah, I'm sure they feel pressed, but this is when you have to stay calm and execute. Outside, green to the middle. Here's Wiggins, and he slams it in one-handed. Raymond Green patient enough to know when his teammates are running around, at some point one's going to break open, then he finds them. Pass to Harris. Embiid, a screen on green. Shot from 12. That one's wide left. The Warriors have gone 3 of 3 in the second half. Curry with it. Green with a screen on Harris. Curry's shot is off. Only their first miss in four attempts. It's been a great start to the half. Maxi passes to Thibel. Green by Embiid. Five on the clock. Bible finds Harden from behind the arc. That one is off. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. Harden against Curry. Pass to Thompson. Wiggins from long range. They grab their own miss. Wiseman. Now Green on the wing. Curry. Goes back up, and it's blocked by Embiid. We see it time and time again. Embiid relishes his role as an intimidator. Pass to Harden. Back to Embiid. It's rebounded by Golden State. Wiseman's got rebound number eight here already in the game. Yeah, they're going to try to search out for somebody that's got a hot hand right now. One of four to start the half. And the fans love seeing incredible moments on defense like that block. Oh, my, oh, my. And that was textbook defense. Positioning himself well to send it back. And the Warriors making a switch here. Kuminga's checked in. Milton's checked in for Philadelphia. John Wall comes in for James Harden. 76ers on D. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Six to shoot. Pass to Curry. Wide open look. Yes, it's good. Curry's got 22. Well, he's been carrying them all night on offense, but at some point, he's going to need some help. And Philadelphia calls time here. Well, Brent, not many players love the grind of the game like Stephen Curry. Well, when you get to a point, B.A., where you're practicing and you only count the makes if it's a swish, and you count it as a miss when you hit the rim, intentional detail like that gives you all-time greats like Steph Curry.
Lakers checked in for the Sixers. And these are the teams that have been threats from beyond the arc since the All-Star break. Fifth on the list, the Warriors. As the season has gone on, the ball has gone in more and more. You like the trend, and they're in a terrific rhythm offensively. up top and he was fouled while in the act of shooting so he'll take two free throws hey you can't block it sending him to the line can be the next best thing and a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from here for the 76ers well not content to take what the defense gives them I mean they're attacking the gaps and getting the ball inside well, another part of what they've done tonight is to get a lot of work done in the mid-range. And that's a shot that a lot of teams are willing to let you take. Well, they've knocked them down. He hits the second from the line. The Warriors have gone four of eight in the third. Here's Curry. 22 points for him. Outside, green. Curry draws the double. Pass to Wiggins. On the wing, Thompson. Sinks the tray. Thompson's got 11 points. Curry not forcing anything, just waiting for his time collecting points in the flow of the offense. Maxi passes to Harris from the high post. Misses off the right iron. The Warriors have gone five for nine from the floor in the third quarter. Curry with it. Checked by Tucker. Green against Milton. And rejected. Now Wall. Pass to Maxi. Harris a screen on Kaminga. Harris on the wing. Just five on the clock. Jacks up a three. It's rebounded by Golden State. Kaminga with it. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. Think about Jonathan Kaminga and how versatile this guy is capable of playing a lot of positions. And they're exploring that. Green's checked in for the Warriors. Poole comes in for Thompson. Hurdles checked in for the Sixers. And a big thing that makes Kaminga so valuable is his impressive length. Well, he has the length, PA, and the strength to go with that. But it's also the lateral movement. So threes, fours, and fives. This kid can absorb all that contact. And it's just such a unique skill set. Now here's Pirtle. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. That's on to Michael Green. Shooting for Philadelphia, Jakob Perl, taking two shots. Shooting two. And that one falls for Pirtle, and as solid as Pirtle is during the game, his free throws, Grant, can be an issue. B.A., it really limits his minutes during close games late. You know, he's right around 50% for his career. He has decent form, so there is some hope for improvement. Smith, he's checked in for Curry. And so Pirtle nails both of them. Golden State has got two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. 
Poole with the ball. A go-to option for this team. He puts up nearly 17 a game. Kaminga with a screen on Maxi. Poole shot is off. Philadelphia has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Pass to Maxi. Tucker with a screen. And it's Maxi missing. The Warriors have gotten six of their first 12 shots to drop in this third. Smith into the lane. Putting that athleticism to good use. Dennis Smith Jr. explosive. And overwhelmed the defense that time. At the line for the Dubs, Dennis Smith Jr. At the line for two. First one falls. It's both from the strike. And here is Maxi. He has six. Wall with a screen on Poole. The kick out to Wall. The Sixers again can't hit. The Warriors trailing. This for the tie! Wiggins, no good. Philadelphia shooting about 43% on this one. Pass to Wall. Outside Tucker. Here's Milton. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Milton's gotten his second bucket of the game. Yeah, and P.J. Tucker in for the share. Kaminga up top. Checked by Tucker. Wiggins for three. And no good. And Philadelphia the other way now. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Here's Wall. Rebounded by Green. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. Here's Maxi. And it's Poole with a rebound. Not his best night from the field, but looking for other ways and finding them so he can chip in. That shot, no good. Hate to say it, but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer, a lot of this is going to be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. For three, Maxi Doesn't go that time. Golden State has gone two of six from downtown here in the second half. Out to the right wing. Dominguez shot is off. The Sixers leading. Ball on the take. Pass to Milton. Here's Tucker. And so it looks like it'll be Philadelphia ball. A moment now to see how the schedule is looking for the Philadelphia 76ers. On Saturday, they'll go up against Chris Paul and the Phoenix Suns. And then Monday, they'll be taking on Nikola Jokic and the Denver Nuggets. And looking at the Dallas matchup, they obviously have the upper hand coming into that one. But don't expect a blowout. It could turn into a real battle. Hurdle with the bucket. They just look so overwhelmed inside. Yeah, that's why they continue to get attacked. The Warriors shooting only 39% so far in the game. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Wiggins, no good. With him struggling tonight, they need to find some other options out there to keep themselves in the game. Maxi finds Wall. Back to Maxi. Picked by Pirtle. Maxi with it. Green picks him up. And it's Maxi missing. Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. Pass to Poole. Now Smith. Six on the shot clock. 
shot is off. Probably not the shot they had in mind. But you can't fault him. He had a clean look. Ball, the pass to Pirtle. Out to the right wing. Ball against Smith. Rebounded by Green. Green's got four rebounds now. Ball against Smith. Pass to Wiggins. It's Poole on the wing. Off target from three-point range. Well, the 76ers shooting about 41%. Now here's Wall. Here's Pirtle. Man, basket's good with the assist from Wall. Wall's got his fourth assist in this one. They've been a little soft with their defense on the interior. Dominguez shot is off. That could have been an easy pass and finish. Not really sure what went wrong. Well, you like to keep things a little more simple, and that was a play that didn't quite develop the way they wanted it. 43 seconds left in the third quarter. Pass to Smith. Outside. Green. Here's Poole. Maxi covering. Kuminga, and it's flushed down! A nice jam. Just great offense. The screen freeing him up for the slam. Hey, without that screen, he doesn't get a clean look at the rim. Yeah, well, I can settle for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that. At the line for the 76ers, John Weber. Two shots. Take break, take break, two shots. That one's off. Wiseman, he's checked in for the Warriors. Clay Thompson comes in for Smith. And the 76ers making a change here. he's good on the second and after a series of major injuries wall still remains one of the more athletic players in this league pool against wall pool outside screen by wiseman pool shot is off well, through three quarters of play, down double digits. It may be difficult to overcome. Sixers ahead, up 10. And we're just moments away from the start of quarter number four. Stay with us. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. You have to love his unselfishness and ability to make those around him better. Great hands, great vision. That makes great things happen for your offense. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. Philadelphia shooting just 42% so far in the game. All three shooters are out there. The splash triplets. Curry, Clay, and Poole. Green at the four, and Wiseman at the five. That's the Warriors' five. Every player goes through this. When your shots aren't going down, he can zing your confidence. Thompson passes to Curry. Here's Wiseman. Back to Curry. Outside, Green. The kick out to Poole. And here's Thompson for three. And his fifth basket. Now five for eight. Looking comfortable out there. Love watching Clay Thompson and that easy stroke of his. Pass to Embiid. And here's Thibel. Harris outside. Now here's Embiid. Guarded by Wiseman. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jordan Poole. That's his first foul of the game. First team foul. B 
Lee drawing the double team. Shot clock at six. Tim B, the screen on Curry. 4-3. After an efficient first half offensively, they've dropped off some. I'm not sure what's exactly changed. Harden against Poole. Back to Curry. Wiseman, a screen on wall. Curry passes to Wiseman. Outside, green. Golden State needs to get off a shot. Poole, shot is off. He made a three back in the first half, but that's it. We'll see if he can find his stroke. Pass to Wall. And here's Embiid, guarded by Wiseman. Fades. The Sixers again can't hit. Golden State has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Curry passes to Wiseman. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. And there should be tons of trips to the free throw line for Wiseman. So tough to stop inside. Wiseman taking two shots. And he drops the first. Staring at this deficit, they're trying to be more aggressive and get themselves to the line. And he makes both free throws. Moving along, two minutes gone in the fourth. Embiid, a screen on Curry. Let's a floater go. And Wiseman using the length, swatting that one away. Here's Green. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. That one on Harris. At the line for the Green. Two shots. He misses the free throw. And the fire that Draymond Green plays with, I think, is the most admirable quality. He knows how to get himself and his teammates going throughout the course of a long, grinding 82-game season. He sinks the second. Just a tough miss at the line. They're down two baskets now. Philadelphia has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Harden. Embiid, a screen on Curry. Harden from outside. The Sixers with another miss. It's another just bad decision on a night full of those. His shot selection tonight has been questionable at best. Curry passes to Thompson. Screen by Wiseman. To the inside. And it's Wiseman with the chance. They're doing the job on both ends. Getting stops and attacking offensively. Yeah, coaching staff probably loves this. Just grinding out defensive possessions, which is helping them get back into their offensive flow. Three-pointer indeed. It's good. Off the assist from Harden. Harden's got six assists now in the game. Now a timeout called by Golden State. And this short amount of time should be beneficial to these players to catch their breath a little bit, while at the same time replenishing their energy by drinking some Gatorade as we head into the final stretch of this game.
the 76ers also with a sub. Maxie's checked in. All right, let's get a report from Allie. During that break, Coach Steve Kerr had some advice for the team. He asked his players to really push the tempo. He wants to see quicker transition into the open court so they have the chance to score before the defense can set up. Trying to use their speed to full advantage, guys. And Allie, thanks. Three minutes into the fourth now. Curry finds Thompson. Outside, Green. Now Curry, defended by Harden. On the wing, Thompson. The three ball. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Curry. Curry's got three assists tonight. But just incredible. I mean, he's really making it rain out there. Knocking them down one after another. Kind of like he's in his living room right now. He's found the comfort zone. Once he gets that, the defense knows they're in trouble. Now here's Maxine. Outside Tybalt. Four on the clock. Back to the left wing. Here's the three. And it's Maxi missing. I mean, he's trying to shoot his way out of what's becoming a prolonged cold streak. Yeah, he's got to move on, forget about this sequence here, and, and try to find a way to get on the board. Curry, that's good. Making his mark from long range today. That's his second triple of the half, his fifth overall. And Philadelphia calls time here. <laughs> Sixers making a change here. Ball's checked in. The Sixers trailing. Outside Dival. Knocked loose. Harris left side. Pass to Embiid. On the take. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And it's easy to forget about Embiid's mobility. I mean, it was like he was happy to go right at the defense and remind them of it. Right, right, right. Two shots. First free throw is good. Embiid drops them both. He's one of the league's best free throw shooting bigs. A performance like this certainly proves it. Here's Thompson. Again, the Warriors score. Very consistent 
tonight at the offensive end. Right there, he helps fuel the fire. Philadelphia has gone one for five shooting from the arc here in the fourth. Pass to Harris, and here's Wall. Embiid with it, guarded by Wiseman. Embiid drawing the double team, and Andrew Wiggins gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. They're having a hard time with fouls. It's still early, but one more, and they'll be over the limit. Nibel on the wing. Harris against Green. Six on the shot clock. Screen by Embiid. For three, here's Harris. Fires in the triple. Harris has got 21 points in the game. Yeah, I feel like he's getting more and more confident and might be able to take over in this game. And here's Curry for three. The long distance three is Perry. He hit three triples in the first half. Three more since. <laughs> That's nothing to shrug at. Ball against Thompson. Wall, the pass to Harris. Back to Wall. Down low. And there's MB. That one's good. And the assist by Wall. Wall's got his sixth assist of the night. Wall against Thompson. Tipped away. Here we go, the Sixers on the break. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. It's going to go on Draymond Green. Standing at 6'4", Wall is a big point guard. That size along with his handles help him operate inside. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Wall. And so Wall nails them both. The Warriors have gotten almost all of their shots to fall in the fourth. Six of seven. Wiseman against Embiid. Curry finds his face. And there's another one for the Warriors. Wiseman, that long frame and that left hand able to whip that pass to his teammate. And he's going for the oop here. Wiseman with a steal. And the Warriors pushing it up now. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. And even from where we're sitting, you can clearly tell it was a foul. At the line for the Dubs, Draymond Green taking two shots. Throw good. Green. So he hits one of two from the strike. He was able to tie it up. He has to be disappointed that he could not give his team the lead. Ball for three. Rebound by Wiggins. Wiggins got six rebounds in the game. And here's Thompson for three. And the Warriors miss again. Well, the 76 are shooting around 30% since the fourth quarter got underway. Harden against Curry. Hard pass to Thibel. And there's a three-second violation. After committing a turnover like that, you're just playing the game. Doesn't come down to the last possession. So remember that. 
Hurdles checked in for MB. Golden State has gone four of six from deep thus far in the fourth. Thompson passes to Curry. And again, no good by Golden State. The 76ers shooting only 40% from the floor in this game. A chance to get a quick injury report. Now an update on Tyrese Maxey from Ali LaForce. What'd you learn, Ali? Hey guys, I spoke with the head athletic trainer for Philadelphia. He said there is some swelling in the ankle, but so far no signs of instability. It's a blow to a team that was hoping to be healthy coming down the stretch. It looks like their depth will be tested now. All right, that's good intel. We've definitely been thinking of him, and now we have some more clarity, guys. Yeah, they now have all the information they need in order to determine the next steps. Everybody wishing the best for him. We all know how badly he wants to be out there playing alongside his teammates and competing. Maxi, he's checked in for Philadelphia. The Sixers leading. Outside Harden. Pass to Harris. Inside. Here's Pirtle. Over Wiseman. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Shooting for Philadelphia, Jakob Pirtle, two shots. Shooting two. And that one falls for Pirtle. That one misses. Warriors have gotten seven of their first ten shots to go during this fourth quarter. Maxi against Thompson. Back to Curry. Takes the three. Yes, and a nice assist from Thompson. Thompson's got his fourth assist in this one. His points are really adding up from the three-point line. He had nine from distance in the first half, and he's only getting better. Thibel. Got it. And the 76ers lead by two. More points coming from inside. In that respect, they've been the more aggressive team. Thompson against Maxi. Outside Curry to take the lead. Can't get it to drop. And Philadelphia the other way now. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Outside Harden. Back to Maxi. Six to shoot. Out of bounds. It'll be Warriors ball. So it's the Warriors now. Trailing by two. Pass to Wiseman. To the middle. And there's Curry. On the assist from Wiseman. Curry's got 13 points in this quarter. Woo, he is dangerous right now. Five for seven in this all-important fourth quarter. Outstanding triple drive. And that replay was brought to you by Mobile One. Yeah, taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the defense and made them pay. And Philadelphia calls time here.
Philadelphia has possession. Outside Maxi. Hurdle with a screen on Curry. Three pointer, Harden. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Green's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Shoots over Harden. Oh, what a play by Stephen Curry. Curry's got 37. Boy, work from Steph Curry gets open and makes it look easy. Wow. Bible against Wiggins. Excellent D there from Wiggins. The Warriors leading. Green, the pass to Thompson. From deep. Curry, no good. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. You just missed it. Throws it up high. On the wing, Curry from deep. Here's Wiseman. And he drains it. A solid five for six now. Think, think about adding that weight and still having the quickness. Wiseman just eating up space now. And it's hard penetrating. Pass to Pirtle. Green against Harris. Pocket six. Now here's Harden. Off the left rim and out. With the defense absent, that was a great opportunity, but no go. Thompson passes to Curry. High ball with the board. And it's the Sixers with the ball. Trailing by four. Hart drawing the double team. Pass to Harris. Harden against Thompson. Picked by Pirtle. He just hasn't been able to get it going this period. No, I haven't seen him in comfortable spots or at least spots we've seen in this offensive set that are allowing him to settle in. Two points here could be the only cushion they need, Brad. Hard to say. Crazier things have happened in this league. At the line for the Dubs. So the first one drops, and that puts him up five. And I think there's everyone around basketball. Wanting to get Clay Thompson back to 100% health. I mean, this guy is a force and a lights out scorer from all areas on the floor. So he gets them both, and it's a six point ball game. Some padding here on the free throw line, some good work. And Philadelphia calls time here. They're behind by six. 29 seconds left in the fourth quarter.
stolen by Green. And so they choose to intentionally foul. <laughs> He hits the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And a tough break as his second attempt is no good at the line. At this point, it just feels like it's over. Do you want to keep expending energy, or do you want to start thinking about the next one? Pass to Maxi. And it's good! Yes, yes. And now they trail! Just four. Well, for Tobias Harris to take this step, getting away from scoring and finding teammates to become a more adept passer, good sign. Yeah, just a must foul situation to stop the one. Drops the first one, and that puts him up five. Yeah, so easy to root for Stephen Curry because of how much fun he seems to have on the floor. Embraces the competition, and is able to laugh it off when something doesn't go his way. A lot of things do, though. And so both free throws good, and it's a six-point ball game. Pass to Harden. Here's Pirtle. Fires the three. Harden can't hit. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Yeah, and there's no question they have to foul. Now, I'm sure they would have preferred to avoid it. the guards, Thompson. At the line for two. Gets the first, and that makes it a seven point lead. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's an eight point ball game. from deep three-point range and the miss and so it's Golden State winning this one a clean win and one where they clearly showed better energy yeah so true they put on a show here at home and I really think they had that extra swagger and confidence too all right now let's check in with Ali LaForce Ali what do you have Stefan a slow start did something feel different for you in the second half no oh, just Made some shots. Uh, it's really the best explanation I got for you. We uh, we got challenged at halftime in terms of getting a little edge around uh, what we were trying to accomplish tonight. Uh, it took us a while to to the game. Kind of the well, the adjustments paid off. Congrats on the win. All right, Alec, thank you. And that about wraps it up. So alongside Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, Brent Berry, and our entire 2K crew, I'm Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching as we present our New Balance player of the game, Stephen Curry.